Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down. I'm here with Chris, 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 and Dion, 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 and now kill is it's a mind thing. What do you say? It's saying? a mindset. It's a mindset. <laughs> so he at KFC. <laughs> he's he's you got to talk to him. He's overdoing it now. Literally, he literally signs everything off. Well, yeah, I'll be there February third, comma. It's the mindset. <laughs> uh, that motherfucker mind ain't never been set. <laughs> With that said, but well, stay tuned after the musical. We're going to find out how did Dion impregnate a monkey? <laughs> that didn't happen either. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. He lied. He lied. All right. He lied. She got long <laughs> fingers. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Where in your mind what sexual move <laughs> requires the monkey to have long fingers? I got a long dick, Chris. My business. <laughs> <laughs> I, liked on Ro- I liked on Rogan when you said about your husband jerking off because he didn't want to lift your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, stay tuned after me. You're a fucking fool, Chris. <laughs> How's your week been, Miss Pat? <laughs> Crazy. So I gotta tell y'all this. So I flew in for Tacoma, right? And so you know, I go to de- I go to um the Delta Lounge. So I'm like, I ain't gonna really eat because I know I'm gonna eat on the plane. So I get on oh, the plane. Wait a minute, you're a plane eater? First class. You make, you make people sit there and smell your food? No, they give you food in first class. People bring food on the plane all the time. And they I shouldn't. sat next to a bitch one time who was eating pork rinds. I wanted to kill that hoe. Oh my <laughs> God, that shit stinks so bad. <laughs> pork rinds. It was like farts. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was first class breakfast. And so you did, I pick what I want. You know, you can get to pick. But I didn't pick. So I asked, I said, uh, did I pick a, a meal? She was like, no. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm putting on my music. I'm laying back, listening. Well, the bitch know I want to sleep because I was bobbing my head. Well, they <laughs> never gave me a plate. When I finally opened my eyes, my, the person next to me was eating. I said, well, where my food at? And she go on to say, uh, I didn't think you wanted to eat. Bitch, as big as I am, you know I wanted something to eat. <laughs> I'm on a diet, but I didn't tell no motherfucking body. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so fucking pissed off. I flew five hours with some fucking salt and nuts. I'm so, oh. I, I, I called Delta. I said, y'all some dirty motherfucker. I done flew two million miles. And this how you treat a nigga? What did the man next to you, what was he eating? Some good looking shit. And then I asked him, I said, what is that? He old fast and that other world, other world. Some shit like that. I don't know what it was. What? <laughs> he was eating a city in Canada? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We heard the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ottawa, um, Ottawa. Ottawa, Ottawa. That's what it sounded like you said to me. Some old bougie ass name for motherfucking an egg. And I was so fucking pissed off. I said, you dirty son of a bitches. Oh, I called Delta Mess. I can offer you $50. I said, no, nigga, I want smoke. <laughs> I need Delta reparations right now. <laughs> you got damn right. I wanted Delta reparations. They gave me a measly hundred dollars. He doubled it and said, "Get the fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write a write. I'm going to write a white girl letter. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> what is it? What is the difference between what you'd write and a white girl letter? They, they would read a white girl letter. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing that nigga shit in the trash. <laughs> and, and my name gonna be White Girl Letter. White Girl Letter with my sky miles dumb on it. So there. Da da, gotcha, nigga. <laughs> I laughed on Rogan when you said that uh, you 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 take the time to curse people out on your own social media. You write it out, misspell it, hand it to Jasmine to fix, <laughs> and then curse your ass out. 
<laughs> I told do. She knows periods. I think it's weird. <laughs> 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 she know what appears in the question mark because I do run on sinners on their ass. I, I run on sinners like a motherfucker. Oh you know, god! <laughs> Rogan had me talk about every fucking thing from the dog house to the uh. We I, I I saw a clip of me. I'm like, uh, I bust a nigga in the mouth. I said, I bet you Rogan people like who the fuck is that? Because <laughs> you know they scientists and doctors and. Ooh, we don't speak like that in public. And Rogan got this big old black woman on there yelling her ass out, like, knocking <laughs> a nigga upside it. Oh, the Dalai Lama. That that that's what took him out. The Dalai Lama. When uh he was saying, uh, I said I slapped shit out of that Dalai Lama. He sticking motherfucking tongue in my baby mouth. <laughs> Monk dressing motherfucker. That is not what happened. <laughs> what happened? It's a custom they have over there. And I don't give a fuck. It ain't no yeah. such thing as religion where your baby got to suck a nigga tongue. No, it's a it's like an inside joke apparently where it's nah, like eat no my face joke. and he didn't know it and he no. The, the the Tibetans are all up in arms over it. Dion, you saw that article too. The Tibetans are mad that everybody get gets it wrong that he's not a perv. Yeah, it's not a sexual thing at all. It's well, uh, it, well nigga. Let me tell you something. That nigga had his tongue hanging out his mouth like a llama. <laughs> <laughs> you, I told Joe Rogan, I said, when I first heard about the Dama Lama, I was like, what's well, somebody trying to suck some llama tongue? I thought of the animal. I didn't know the fuck a Dama Lama was. I, <laughs> you still don't. <laughs> <laughs> what you say like that? It's the Dalai Lama. <laughs> well, the Dalai Lama, the Dalai I didn't know who he was. And then so Sound heard, like Obama's broke cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did why they got their baby sucking his animal tongue? And then I see this man sitting up in a moo moo. I said, what the fuck going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, not a moo moo. <laughs> that would look like he had on a custom made moo moo. <laughs> it is kind of a moo moo, to be honest. He, he just had a moo. Most fat people moo moo is one piece. He was like a three piece. Because I noticed he had a scarf on. He had on a Miss America pageant robe thing going around and put his arm. The stash? Yeah. <laughs> then he had some other shit. <laughs> got- Steve Harvey said, it, right here on the car, not to kiss that man in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the Dama Lama. <laughs> I'd have whooped that Dama Lama ass. I like when you asked him if uh, he could eat pussy better than your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask him that. Yes, you did. <laughs> I was taking notes. Uh, uh, what did he say? <laughs> uh, he just laughed and moved along. He said he thought Ashley could probably eat pussy better. Um, one thing you mentioned was paid laughers. So he started talking about the TV show like right out of the gate. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And I thank you for that, Mr. Rogan. Um, yeah, so when me and Jordan was taping, uh, when we was getting ready to tape the Miss Pat show, we would go to different stages. And I won't say what comedian it was, but we went to another comedian stage who was getting a sitcom at the time, and they had paid laughters in the audience. So I was like, what the fuck is paid laughter? And we sat there and we watched it. They had one black lady. You could tell she'd have paid laughter for every sitcom in Hollywood. She's like, <laughs> cut it off. And wait, <laughs> look at her paper. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is going on? You're blowing the microphone out when you <laughs> do that. So it sounds even weirder. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? So the man said, oh, yeah, when, you, when we can't get it too funny right away, we're the studio high paid laughters. I said, niggas get paid to laugh? <laughs> At unfunny shit, that's a hard ass job. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, acting is already a lot, but to act like you like something and laugh? <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard motherfucking job. So do they like plant one or two in the crowd to like get oh, it everybody was, it else? Was, to- it, was, it was like twelve of them. They all had the script in their hand, and they and each one of them was told to laugh at a certain time. Like they was in harmony. Like eight laugh and then four be quiet. 
six laugh and seventh laugh. I don't know. Some shit like that. Like a fucking choir. It's like choir practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you I was like, baritone laughers. <laughs> yeah. Baritone, melatone, little tone, that kaini, hyenas, hyenas. <laughs> <laughs> None of that had anything to do with music. <laughs> <laughs> no, hyenas laugh. Then, or, then the people, ur, ur, look, them types of people. Laugh. Fuck. Are you okay? <laughs> what well, old have McDonald's in, sitcom were you on? Have you been in Denver? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know some people laughing on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do the snort. My snort, sister yeah. does that. Yeah. So, they have a few, they had a few snorkels and they was in with the baritone. Listening to them, the laughter was way better than the show I was watching. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could tell they were way rehearsed. Is that show still on? <laughs> it never made it to the air. Because mm, they had to pay people to laugh. So they wasted their money on laughter. <laughs> right, it was, and then I sat there and watched them act right. I ain't going to say who it is. And I was like, if this shit make it, I better motherfucking make it. <laughs> so when I'll show my the show, my show and that show went to edit at the same time. Uh by uh no, mine was edited by an older white man who they called out of retirement. <laughs> so make a long story short. The editor of that show said, damn, I wish I were editing your show. <laughs> she <laughs> put, put me to motherfucking sleep. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whew. <laughs> you know they got that that new AI technology now that's gonna make editing a lot faster. You know what I I found so we just did uh, somebody just took Bob and Tom's voice all the characters and like created fake ads. I wonder if AI can handle Miss Pat. I'm gonna get that software and maybe we could do it next episode and see if I can get it to do Miss Pat. Nigga, I saw a uh, AI of Michael Jackson doing one of Master P songs. <laughs> oh really? That shit was horrible. <laughs> Jasmine sent me something that you were talking about. It was this influencer on Instagram, and she had AI'd herself into looking attractive, <laughs> but she looked like a dog before. <laughs> oh, God yeah. damn, Chris. <laughs> I'm just being honest. She you was like two dogs. She looked like I a Katie Corso. <laughs> Kaylee Do you want to put out a blanket statement that people should just not ask you about Kaylee Cuoco anymore? By the way, I, I, I wish people, uh, yeah. Rogan asked me about it. I said, I said, apparently I said something wrong, and I looked up, and hundreds of little white girls was in my box. Somebody gonna whoop my ass. <laughs> I said, bring it on, bitches. I take your lunch money <laughs> and use it on Delta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it, it don't matter. I'm never gonna speak wrong badly of her because I think she's a great actor. I like her. I think she's pregnant too. So I, I think mean, she just had the baby, actually. So congratulations yeah. to her. Yeah. So I don't really give a fuck. I mean, one thing you know, she'll never forget me. <laughs> Two yeah. things for sure. I hope she don't block me in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh okay, so I've got these up. Are you gonna show those pictures? Yeah, so here the dog is... lady. <laughs> what dog lady? I don't know. So this is this is a this is a model, apparently. All right, so that's the influencer. If you're watching on YouTube, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then this is what she actually looks like. Nigga, no, she don't like no dog, but <laughs> Nah, <laughs> she looks like she has ADHD in your kennel. <laughs> Wait a minute, go back. Them black women go come for you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Is that her for real? No, it's AI. It's fake. Well, what do you mean? How did she do that? AI, artificial intelligence. The guy who is the head of AI, who works for Google. He um he just quit his job at Google to come out and warn everybody about how bad AI is going to get. I just posted the the article today here. The Godfather of AI leaves Google and warns of a danger. It's on uh the New York Times. It's too late now. 
Yeah, he said it, that's basically what he said is, you know, somebody's got to get in control of this. But the problem is now that Microsoft and Google are competing, these tech giants are going to like start getting into a competition and it's going to get bad because nobody will stop them. And nobody will be able to be able to tell what's true anymore with all these false photos, videos, texts that nobody knows what's going on. And the worst part is chatbots and chat GPT, like they could replace paralegals, personal assistants, translators, and others who handle rote tasks. Um, and he says, eventually we will get to kill robots and it will become reality. This nigga fucked the planet and quit his job. Fuck yeah. Him. <laughs> Je Jeffrey Hinton is his name. This shit sound like an episode of The Blacklist. I think Jasmine's safe though, because imagine you trying to to Siri into your personal assistant. <laughs> to tell I don't fuck with robots. Niggas don't fuck with robots. So <laughs> we, yeah, there be y'all with the robots. They ain't gonna come in our house and choke us the fuck out. And we too scared that robot might suck out her my dick. Ain't no robot coming up in here. And she can suck it nonstop because she ain't got no muscle in her neck and she ain't got to breathe. You Nigga, no. Rosie was sucking off Mr. Je George Jefferson or what was this? <laughs> the Jetsons. <laughs> I ain't fucking around with that shit. Ain't no, ain't no AI, IA, uh, what's the little basketball player name? Alan Iverson. Alan Iverson. Ain't none of them coming up in here. Don't even fuck with owls. <laughs> <laughs> Owls, eagles, I just so <laughs> I can't, I can't. So, so no vowels in your house, no AI, no vowels, no, no A E L. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the Miss Pat graffiti that somebody had posted in the group? <laughs> the J A E L graffiti. I never forget that shit. I thought I spelled that shit right that day. I was like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so the crack baby group somebody uh jessica anderson gwynn caught it in the wild j-a-e-l <laughs> <laughs> boy they ain't gonna never let me live that one down on it. <laughs> it's almost as bad as j-s-u-s-e-s -S -E -S <laughs> last week what was that when you, when you tried to spell, to spell jesus <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Nat, I think it was it Nate Bean. Is that the gospel singer we had on? He really loves Jesus, and he's he's like on on, and then he's like, uh, yeah, uh, go check me out on this podcast. He whispered it. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. The guy that we had sing on stage that you called Rick Ross. Oh, he didn't want to sing on our podcast. He no, Jesus? he did. He totally did. I I just was. He's he's a good dude. Go follow him. Who go follow him? Never mind. <laughs> so, uh, let me ask you about your car, because I always think this is hilarious. Because you do this every time you go on Bob and Tom, you won't tell us on the podcast what kind of car you've gotten for like a month. You told us off air, and then you go on Bob and Tom, which has three million listeners, and tell everybody what kind of car you got. It's like you get on these other podcasts or radio shows and you just you can't help yourself. You want me to explain it to you, Chris? It, it, please. White people listen to Bob and Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is after, after she Niggas said listen it, to this podcast. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it. I Googled what it was and I went, she's making that kind of money? <laughs> <laughs> There's strategy involved, Chris. You don't tell niggas what you got. You can tell white people because they ain't going to try to steal it. Okay. All right. You are in Atlanta. <laughs> but I, I don't know if, what's going on with this car. First, you get Panera bread, and then birds just take an absolute dump all over it. I saw on your Instagram. <laughs> Them niggas had a field day on your I shit. Had a fucking field day. I shit could look like a porta potty at Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> they pooped all. Oh my! I had just got my shit washed. They say that's good luck if you just get it washed and then a bird shits on your car. But oh, you had a flock of diarrhea. <laughs> a flock of diarrhea. I did. I did. <laughs> and the cars are. 
<laughs> yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> well, I work. I, I do work, Chris. You do. I, you I deserve work. it. I, you work hard for it. I try really hard. Not. I, I don't be flashy, but you know, it was a birthday <laughs> gift to myself. And then, and then God said, here's some Panera bread and bird shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you happy nigga, birthday? If you buy yourself a G-Wagon for your birthday, I feel sorry for them other gifts, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got you a gift card to Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was something that I always wanted. And um, um it came through, so I was like, "You know how right. much money that girl gonna have to steal in the next podcast?" <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't believe you. Uh, the girl made it to the Rogan podcast. He knew about that. He knew about the stalker, and then uh, you had another one that we hadn't heard about here. Oh yeah, I, I told you about the guy. He came to the party, and I had to tell him stop calling me before I call the police on you. He was gay. I'm like, well, how the fuck I get a gay stalker? <laughs> well, <laughs> when you, that it's that come? voice. Your yeah, voice is so low. <laughs> First thing in the morning, it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Dion. <laughs> I'm trying to put some light on my fucking face. Uh, but it's, it's, but you know, it's just fans and. You know, I've heard other I've heard other comments that people show up at they do That's why I got them three can core souls. Y'all gonna get bit in the ass, the eyes, the toe, and my husband <laughs> gonna shoot you and I'm gonna eat you. People are very curious about this doghouse that you've been I talking know. about. It's, you, uh, show it. I'm right, so I'm pulling like, it up. Here, let's take a quick break and then Nikea. we'll come back and talk about it. So I know I'm uh, sorry we're showing so much stuff. You'll just kind of have to watch some of this on the uh, YouTube version. Look up Miss Pat on YouTube. But this is on your Instagram. And you can go to the Ms. Pat Project Instagram, too, to see it as well. And it, it was in your home update. And mm -hmm. you had revealed that you were making a dog cage. But house. It's house. It's a how many square feet is this dog house? 600. <laughs> bigger than my apartment that i lived all right hold on how y'all doing i just want to give y'all a sneak can you hear that yeah yeah peak of my under construction house we finally finished the dog house look at the dog house you want to describe it miss pat <laughs> tell people what it is we'll just pause it there it's a, it's, it's, it's a dog house 600 square feet it's got four kennels front and back door. It has a washing machine and dryer. It has a uh, <laughs> heating and air. <laughs> Why the fuck does the dogs have a washer and dryer? <laughs> does it have cable? And the niggas don't wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> For they uh, blankets and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and their towels. It has a they have their own tub, bathtub. It has um it has a refrigerator. And counter space, it has a full kitchen. <laughs> What's the full kitchen for? Uh, really, just the refrigerators in there. Okay. You know, um, to keep their well, cold food and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, if they then they got like they got a water, a dog water fountain. Where you've got to you've got to separate the washing. If you can separate the washing machines, you absolutely should because it gets gross. What do you mean? Well, you know, you're watching the washing the dog beds in your home bed. You know, that's why you well, go to the why, laundromat. That, yeah, that's why I have the dog house, so I don't have to use their. They got their own washer and dryer. I got three washer and dryer, three three washer and dryers at, in my regular house, but they got their own. Now, did you did, was this like a late add on? I don't remember you ever mentioning this. Did you kind of go? You know what? We should build this. No, my it was my husband. So he was he we didn't have dogs at first. So it was just a little house sitting there. So we tore it down. And so he wanted to do a dog house. But he wanted to do it like a chain link fence. I said, Gary, you can't do a chain link fence up against what we build it. It's just not gonna go. So yeah. uh he kind of drew it out. At the time I bit my framer was still there, so he framed it. And then I had it all bricked. So um here, where you see that the gates, when you get to see the video, the gates are missing. I had, I'm having a custom kennel put on the outside and the inside. And then they have a sofa to sit on and they got a cable TV. 
They will they be it. separated from each other or will they, they be are able separated? To... Okay. And then they'll come outside and then and then they have their own little doggy playground. Okay. All right, let's keep watching the video. Yay, it's finally finished. Four kennels. I show you the front. I would be so glad when this is done. <laughs> but I'm enjoying myself. Here's the front of the dog house. That's the front. It has two doors, a front and a back door. And it has, um, I can't wait to show y'all what we did on the inside or what I did on the inside to keep my husband from fucking shit up. But I'm going <laughs> to take y'all through it. You look really cute in that video too, by the way. So we just, we just, um, uh, what do we, we just put the installation in. So the inspection is tomorrow. Um, and once we get the inspection, Whatever happened to the to the duck man in the lawsuit? Oh, he just sued me. He just actually sued me. Yeah, you, I took you, him to court. Did? Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to court with him. What did he sue you for? Uh, he sued me for thirty eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Didn't he take that from you? Yeah. Yeah, what? he needs <laughs> the money to pay her the money, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. He <laughs> took your money and now he's suing you for your money extra. Back. Yes. Did you so, get your money back? No, the judge made him return the things he took from me. Yeah. But so you he, never got $38,000 back or you no. did? So No, but now he wanted it back. Wait. Wait. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's suing to keep the money he already stole plus yeah. another $38,000. Because I didn't let him finish the job. Did you have a contract with him? Mm-hmm. That's why the judge told him I didn't own the shit. So he decided, well, <laughs> I'm going to take it out of a, a criminal court. I'm going to take it to small claim courts. So now he just sent me paperwork. He wants another 32000 Mind you now, I gave him 60000 You know he what must you have need never to... seen your Judge Joe Brown episode. <laughs> uh, let me speak to you as a white person, okay? This is what you need to do. You need to treat this like you have a lot of money and you hire a lawyer and you waste his time until he cries uncle. Yeah, it's going to cost you $10,000 in legal fees. No, it won't cuz I'm not hiring a lawyer. What you got to hire you waste I've this already, man's I've, time. I, he wasted my time cuz I've already worn my judgment. So I'm not worried about this motherfucking short foot nigga. I don't worry about no short foot nigga. You any you nigga, should make you should hire nigga. a lawyer that I, will make him spend twenty grand and make him sorry he ever fucked with you. Fuck him. He gonna he gonna be sorry when we show up in court. I'm um, first of all I'm say um first of all I'm gonna say you honor I don't know why this part time ballerina is suing me. Nigga, <laughs> you never touch the ground. All right, Dion, my case for a lawyer is getting stronger. Go ahead, Miss Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So fuck him. He that man is crazy. I ain't about thinking about him. I got all my proof, all my receipts. I had the contract. Nigga, you didn't finish the work. So what are you suing me for? You fucked up my house. You fucking ballerina the feet ass motherfucker. Don't tell my son. He got mad because I kept talking about his feet. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong with him? Fuck him. I'm, I'm ready to fight it out in court. Let's get saying. it on, nigga. Let's get it on. I'm ready. I'm about it, about it. I'm down for it. Motherfucking slew foot motherfucker. <laughs> nigga foot, only, nigga, only nigga I know that foot wave at you. What? When he walk, he see me waving like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. So uh. stay tuned, but I'm going to get a video I'm going to my house today, I think, and I'm going to get a video and I'm going to walk you through my house so y'all get to see. Uh, the installation is up. Nice. This week it rained and I had like eight leaks. I was like, thank you God for letting it rain. <laughs> Has it been dry down there? Yeah, no, but it been, but it rained. I mean, it rained like a motherfucker. <laughs> 
That's a lot, Chris. Yes. <laughs> Americans will do anything to avoid the metric system. <laughs> what was that? You measured it in motherfuckers, not in metric. <laughs> How was I supposed to measure it? <laughs> it's just a silly just, meme. Yeah. like a motherfucker. Black people measure in, in, in words. <laughs> Big as hell. Die <laughs> fucking ganty. <laughs> Right, John? Yeah, you motherfucking right. <laughs> <laughs> that means you write a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's a many, many rights. Gee, that motherfucker was longer than the alligator did. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of other things I don't understand, Wild and I Out came out. I didn't, I watched the clip on YouTube. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Speaking what, of what? other things, Wild and Out. <laughs> White people, nigga, when they would say that shit on Bob and Tom, nigga, I was crying. It was, it was even worse there. She what went on, she went on Bob and Tom to promote her wild and out performance. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> White people were like, what the fuck is wild and out? <laughs> and I don't know how to watch it, so I just tuned into the YouTube clip, and uh, you you were hilarious at the at the end with the joke, but the rest of it, I, I was trying to piece together what was going on there, and I just, <laughs> I don't, I, I got nothing. Show the clip and tell us what you didn't understand. <laughs> uh, everything until you talk. Had a joke, or... <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be funny? Yes, because everybody, it, that's a joke in the hood. Everybody know when the Waffle House is dirty, the food is delicious. And, and like, what are we turning up? <laughs> that means it's like, God damn. Man. <laughs> but if I, I see, that's why I can't sit no more white friends. <laughs> Explaining. <laughs> the explanation. Explain so, why the wild one and needs one, to turn up. And then once it's turned up, <laughs> For what? Can you wild on the inside instead of out? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a phrase, like, like. Uh, I know. I I generally get the idea. I'm just joking. Yeah. Turn up for what? <laughs> they just say, I, I don't know. Get happy, Joan. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I know one thing. I was too over that fucking show, and I was scared. I was gonna bomb. You I, look so uncomfortable. I was watching that. I thought that same thing because, like, you were in the background. You have a shy look that you do when you don't when you don't know how things are gonna go or you're not comfortable. You kind of have that you look uh, like you have on your face right now, and you were in the back <laughs> of that crowd, just kind of with your like. Ugh. You it, when you're nervous, you you smile with your teeth showing, like you're like <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, right, like that. But then you kill that Nick Cannon joke was hilarious. I just made that shit up on on the fucking fly. Yeah, it was really funny. How, how long ago did y'all film that? Uh, last year. Yeah, it was like nine months ago, easily. Because mm -hmm. we weren't allowed to mention that you did it, but I would say of all the things that you've done in the last like three months, that's the thing that I've seen most people talk about. Like the crack babies posted about that probably more than any other appearance. Cause you know, it was something that everybody would say, Nick, you should get her. And I'm like, y'all, I, I don't do that young people shit. I don't like to be talked about either. So you saw at the end, I went the fuck off on there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it was like, you look like a fat Jess Hilaire. I said, oh no, nigga. Fat nigga, eat that little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I blinked the fuck out. <laughs> So, but it was a good experience. I mean, uh, it was a good experience. Y'all make sure y'all catch me next week. I'm sorry, this week on Jennifer Hudson this Thursday, and I am singing. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> singing what? <laughs> oh my life! I you have never sang the song like correctly. <laughs> <laughs> she sang on Bob and Tom and they lost their fucking minds. <laughs> they'd never heard it before. <laughs> he said you were going to go over and nurse Tom and sing him a song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my life. I waited for someone like you. 
All right. What's the next verse? <laughs> Do you know next verse is please read your dates. <laughs> the fucking Chris. So I'm out for a little while because I'm shooting something. So make sure y'all get your tickets for July 21st through the 22nd at the Funny Bone, Omaha, Nebraska. I'm on my way. Wow. July 28th through the 29th, I will be in Orlando, Florida, baby, getting my suntan on. Come to the Orlando Improv. I will be there. Get your tickets. Where's the Mons? I'm on my way. August the 4th through the 5th. August 18th through the 19th, Blue Room Comedy, Springfield, Missouri. Milwaukee Improv. I'm on my way back. August 25th through the 26th. Stand Up Live, Phoenix, September the 1st through September 3rd. Boma Heart Theater. This is when Boma Heart, Bomb Heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is when the... <laughs> Okay. I, hope, I hope you don't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this come, is, come see me at the Bomb Hard Theater. <laughs> this is when the my theater tour starts. Your girl done made it. The first show at the box, September the 8th, Bomb Hard Theater. I just realized they say Bomb Hard. <laughs> September yeah. the 9th, I will be at my second home, Clowns. Memorial Hall. Clues. Clues. Oh, Clues. Memorial Hall. Uh, November, what is it? September the 9th? Yep, Make my sure birthday. Get your tickets. December the 16th for Atlanta. Uh, for the stamp. I will be in Atlanta December the 16th at Stand Up Live. Make sure you get your tickets. Also, just go to misspackcomedy.com for all the other dates on the tour. We just added five more dates today. I'm coming your way, Jacksonville. And then Ooh, October 14th, for you. October 14th, 2023. Make sure you go and get your tickets now for the Miss Pat fan celebration. I will tell you now, this show is already almost sold out. So get your fucking tickets so we can party. Weird how the- that went from the Pat Down party to the Miss Pat party, Dion. <laughs> so the reason why it's called Miss Pat fan celebration, because I wanted to get sponsors this year. And they and white people, they just scared of the crack baby word. Yeah, crack baby. <laughs> I can't ask Todd Washington Pollard to sponsor some crack babies. Oh my <laughs> God, the black community would eat me alive. So I changed the name of the, of the party to the Miss Pat fan celebration. <laughs> that is fun. I guess I'm just too used to the word now. Yeah, you're too used to the word. But yeah. corporate American is not. And I still haven't gotten any sponsors, so we'll see. <laughs> now I done changed the fucking name for nothing. Just could have kept the crack babies. That's also, what can, you, can you mention where people can buy your merch at? I'm tired of people inboxing me. Where can I get a Miss Pat hoodie? Well, please go to <laughs> uh, please go to misspatcomedy.com. You can get all the merch there. I'm getting ready to add a, fr- a couple of free, a couple of, a uh, couple of, I'm getting ready to add a couple of new things to it. So I have some crossbody bags, some satchels, some uh, fanny packs, some lanyards. And, uh, you know, I always like to throw some extras in there when you order something. Go to misspackcompany.com and get all the new items and all your free, I mean, you know. I saw the new the new uh, Pat Down t-shirts with the new logo on it. It looks so good, the t-shirt. Hold on one second. Yes, okay, great. Okay. Yeah, they do. I love them. I love them. So thank y'all so much. Make sure you get your, get your new sweatshirts, get your t-shirts so you can come on out to the show and we can have some fun. And with that said, I want to say good night. 